Have you ever wanted to go on a bike tour, but you're on a really tight budget? Well, in today's video, we are gonna check out a budget cycle touring setup. Our friend Caitlin, who cycled with us through Tasmania and the mainland Australia, is gonna walk us through her entire budget bicycle touring setup, including her bicycle, her tent, her sleeping bag, sleeping mat. All right, let's roll. Brad fam, today we are doing something a little different. We're gonna go through Caitlin's uh, budget bike touring setup, and she's just gonna walk you through how she made her whole gear setup come together for the trip. She was on a budget, and so she got some good stuff, I have to say. So I just wanted her to kind of walk us through and give you an idea of how you could do a bike touring setup on a budget. So without further ado, Caitlin. Hi guys, I'm Caitlin. I'm along on the adventure in Australia with the girls at Rad Bike Adventure. So I bought a secondhand bike. So this is a specialized alibi. So far it's been really good. It has some interesting features like the tires are solid rubber, which is weird. <laughs> at first I was like, what are these? It's basically made for a city commuter bike, but it has worked really well on the trip. I haven't had to worry about having a flat tire and it would only be bad if you're on super rocky trails. Mm. We've done a few, but it's been all right. What I would say about sec buying a secondhand bike is you're definitely gonna have to get a tune-up done mm. to it after, which can be pricey, mm. and to get maybe a new chain, new brake pads and stuff. So right. that stuff does add up. And if this is an entry-level bike anyways, so you can probably just get an entry-level bike brand new mm, it when you sometimes works better yeah it sometimes works better when you consider the cost of what you might have to put into a secondhand bike if you're going on a longer tour um, so i wish i would have thought about that but that being said i'm really happy with my bike mm, mm -hmm. yeah it's worked really well so yeah it's worked really well it's got all like the basic shimano parts um it doesn't have disc or anything uh this is my first long cycle tour uh like over a few months so yeah Cool, tell us about been, your, your sweet handlebar bag here. All right, so cheap option here <laughs> than buying, you know, a $50 handlebar bag. Use any bag you oh, have more. and just use some <laughs> zip ties zip ties here nice. and zip it on, yep. just like handlebar bags. <laughs> Perfect. It gets you, it, it gets works. You, you can put some snacks in there. <laughs> some snacks in you there. You just can't have it be too heavy. Get a donation from a friend. <laughs> yeah, donation from a friend. Here is the rear back yep. for the seat post. Yep. Um, just bought that at Target for five bucks. So it's good for storing just yeah. lube, tools, whatever. Really and then the other really good find I think I got was these Azure panniers. These are completely waterproof mm. and the size is very similar to most other panniers. Yeah, to Darren's Ort Leaves. Yeah, to the yeah Ort they're Ort kind of like an Ort Leaf knockoff, but what I like even better is that it has this little thing for a light. Yeah. Which is really nice. I think that's a nice addition. Exactly. It's a roll top. Roll first top, of all. which is good. But then it also has the flap. So yeah. it really keeps the water out, no pooling or anything mm, like that. Mm. And cool. yeah, you can just strap dirty things in here. Do you know how much these are? Because you got them kind of thrown in with the bike. Do you know how much they are? Around 99 Australian dollars. So that'd oh. be about 70 US. US for two for a, for a set. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, that's a pretty good deal. That would definitely be a nice budget option. And then can you show us how they connect to the bike as well? Yeah. So mind? yeah, it's really easy. So like most, they just have a clip, mm. they clip on, and then they also have this yep. to adjust to, uh, yeah, to yeah, yeah. stick to the rack. To grab onto the rack. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's very similar to the Ortley. Yeah, and everything is adjustable mm. for the type of rack you have nice. with just a simple Allen key. Cool. Just twist and yep. adjust. Awesome. And um, the other budget item that we have here is just the old bungee. Yeah, just the old bungee. I mean, it works really well. Cheap. Heck, when you're biking, you could probably find one on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, We've they're... seen like a hundred of these things. <laughs> so it's true. still Every time I see one, I still think it's a snake. I'm a snake. <laughs> yeah, you can go budget, right? You can use a tube, you can use a bungee, and then you just had some like cheaper dry bags. Yeah, that you have, yeah exactly. You know. These ones, just got them from Kmart keep my stuff in yeah so once five again bucks. five bucks i don't know if i'd go river tracing with these things yeah they haven't leaked or anything but definitely just throwing in another bag is perfectly fine cool the whole setup was 
around 450 Australian dollars. Mm, for the bike um, and the, the panniers. Bike, the panniers. The handlebar bag. Handlebar bag, everything. Yeah. Cool. Um, I just wanted to explain my budget setup for my tent. Just gonna go through some of the positives and negatives with you. The nature hike tent. This is the two man ultralight. So it weighs about two kilos. Some of the positive things I like is the zippers work really well and it's easy to get in and out with a main door and then there's also a door on the back. It's extremely waterproof. So in Tasmania, um, we had a lot of rain and wind and it held up really, really well. Mm. Um, as well, it's got two nice doors. Um, really airy mm -hmm. and good. Okay, it comes with lots of stakes. Yep, there's two doors, mm -hmm. just like half circles. One on this side. Yep. And mm -hmm. the it's other door is just a single zipper. Oh, it's different. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then both. Oh, yeah, it is different. Yeah, both have the option to roll back onto here. Yep. So you can leave it as like a window vent. Um, as well, it has two pockets in the tent. So it's good to store things. All right. So one on each end. Nice. Air vent, kind of similar to ours, actually. Yeah, it pops it's up. It's very similar. Same. So you've got two air vents. It's how big how many people fit in here so this is a two-person tent okay and the downside to it is that it's a little bit small mm. so i'm about five foot seven or 170 centimeters yeah. so maybe let me lay inside yeah. and see. if i'm laying i'm almost oh uh, yeah so with two people in here it's, it's a little tight but it can work it's a little tight to fit all your gear with two people in here yeah if you want to bring your panniers and stuff but if you have one person, it's really, really nice. You can lay diagonally. It gives you more space to put your stuff. Mm. It's actually packs down pretty small. You guys can see this bag here. We'll show you once she packs it up, but it's quite small. Yeah, there it is. So there it is. All, all packed up. All packed up. Compared to the size of a Nalgene. Mm. Two Nalgenes, it is. Um, it fits perfectly on a back rack like the exact size of yeah. the back rack on a bike so that's good nice not too cool long. it's almost like a knockoff of our big agnes like the setup is very similar and yeah just the shape of it so not a bad not a bad option and the the material is thick and good it feels like like it would last a while yeah, it's just not light so that's really it's not as lightweight and it's not as roomy as ours but yeah for sure and they have a lot of different models if you want to get a three person if you're traveling mm. with two so you've got extra space right. for comfort right. or cool. whatever but yeah i definitely recommend this brand for a cheap option yeah. and then instead of getting a footprint you've just you've just gotten tarp yeah exactly and the tarp is good because it's multi-purpose so we also use it for picnicking mm. or anything else and yeah so this is a separate rain fly mm -hmm. um, here's yeah. the body so now we can the see body, the body yeah. so it's just two poles that x really really easy to set up with just little clasps so. cool mm -hmm. awesome cool. so this is my budget sleeping pad option and you can get these at kmart or target any sort of shop like that for on, around 20 us dollars it's kind of like a cheap version of a thermo rest mm. so essentially it just opens up it's a little bit bulkier than some yeah. of the ultralight equipment but on a budget you can't really beat it got a built-in pillow nice so no nice. pillow necessary um yeah and then it's self-inflatable so if you just open the nozzle self-inflates in just a few minutes oh, cool. if you're on a budget it's worked well i've used it every single night for about three months and also easy to return if something happens to it to any of those big companies mm, yeah true good point <laughs> yeah you're like oh my math's not working i'll just take it back to target and get yeah. a new one and also like if you have an expensive one that doesn't mean that the nozzle you know the nozzles still break on yeah. expensive ones yeah. I have friends that camp and you know yeah next we have a sleeping bag um so this one is a denali light it's about this at anaconda which is kind of the REI or mega superstore for camping mm. in Australia. Um, it was about 70 US dollars. No, no, 60. Okay. Yeah, 60. Okay. It's worked really nicely as a light sleeping bag. Mm. People would say this is more of a summer bag. <laughs> I, I brought it to Tasmania and it chilly. was pretty cold there. It got down to almost zero degrees. <laughs> and so then I had to have my 
little throw yeah. to keep me warm and wear all of my gear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this three season sleeping bag is more like summer. Ew. This is, oh my god, it's so thin! <laughs> it was like negative two last night. <laughs> so oh my god, it's so cold. Oh, Especially when you're that. sleeping with a goddamn <laughs> sheet. The degree rating was around 10 Celsius, yeah. and it was around 10 Celsius, so I would definitely go below the degree rating of like Whatever, the yeah. minimum temperature you're gonna be at, yeah. just to assure you don't freeze to death. <laughs> He has a sleeping bag <laughs> in a, a jacket, a Kmart jacket on. <laughs> but as for the sleeping bag, if you're going into summer conditions, I definitely recommend it for a cheap option. Yeah. It's super light. The zipper works well. This is just the regular size bag. Right. So I'm 5'7". It works well for me. Maybe if you're really Ooh, and tall. And it matches your tent. Yeah, it matches my tent. <laughs> so yeah. Nice. And yeah, just like grabbing a fleece blanket like this yeah, uh, can, you know, double what? up as like a sort of uh, sleeping bag liner kind of situation where you're just adding warmth. Yeah. And I would say you've learned this too, like op shops or secondhand stores, Salvation Armies, those can really be your friend in this sort of situation. Like, yeah, you can find a lot of great stuff there. Exactly. And I don't think the fact that you are on a smaller budget means that you shouldn't go cycle touring. I mean, there's plenty of budget gear you can mm. use yeah. and you don't need the most expensive gear to be able to cycle to her. Okay, cool. So then you just fit those two in your one pannier? Uh, yeah. And then just my sit pad is back off the budget. Mm. Just sit pad from Walmart, Kmart yeah. sort of thing. Cool. Uh, I would say 600 Australian or less got the whole setup. Like for all your gear? For all the gear, yeah. Maybe we'll have to add that up and- Yeah, we'll add it up and we'll put the the total count down below yeah. here so you guys know. We're just but... throwing random numbers at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get the, the, we'll get the real deal at the bottom in print. That's, uh, that's K-Dog set up on a budget. There you go. Love it. Hope you found that video helpful and kind of let you see that you can do bike touring on a budget. Absolutely. Because we just, you know, invited Caitlin to come along and she's like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. But, oh crap, I got to buy all this gear. <laughs> yeah. And sure. so you kind of set to the challenge of uh, finding how you could do it yeah. with the minimum amount of money and you've totally made it work. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Caitlin is a speed master, by the way. She gets her shit done so fast. Look at her just go. Just speed master. Camping every day. Efficiency. My ancestors that came over on the Mayflower from Germany <laughs> taught me efficiency. <laughs> it must be in my bloodline. <laughs> That's the only thing that can explain my efficiency. <laughs>